a cheetah can reach a top speed of over 70 miles per hour, more than 40 miles an hour faster than the world's fastest man. In just one stride, it advances 25 feet, and it completes four strides in a single second. That's an incredible 100 feet per second. But that doesn't mean the sprinter's always successful. Before embarking on a chase, the cheetah's calculations must be exact, or it risks overheating, even death. A cheetah's extraordinary speed doesn't come from any one part of its body. Instead, this animal is a versatile symphony of specialized anatomy. Firstly, those oversized, muscular legs work like rocket launchers to provide a powerful thrust. It also has a highly flexible spine, which works like a spring. By bending its back, the cheetah lengthens its stride. It's the only cat to have permanently extended claws like a dog, which it uses like spike track shoes to give extra stability and traction during a chase and its long, thick tail helps this cat to maintain its balance while cornering. Cheetahs have become highly tuned speed machines, but power like this comes at a price. When the cheetah begins a chase, its internal organs go into overdrive. Its enlarged nostrils and air passages allow an increase of air to the lungs. Its large heart quickly pumps huge amounts of oxygenated blood to its muscles, keeping them supplied with the energy required to maintain its speed. But as the muscles are forced to work harder, they get hotter. And for a cheetah, this is bad news. A cheetah's body temperature is already high at 102 degrees Fahrenheit. But as it sprints, its respiratory rate climbs from 60 to 150 breaths per minute. The energy this rise produces also causes a massive increase in its body temperature. A cheetah can only sprint the length of a baseball field before it reaches a critical temperature and has to stop or overheat. Heat exhaustion can cause convulsions, even death. Even once prey is captured, it can take a cheetah half an hour to catch its breath and cool down enough to be able to eat.